My Road to Thailand presents this episode of Cooking by the Seat of My Pants. Just throwing together whatever I can think of into this beef macaroni casserole. So let's get on with it. Onions and celery to start off. I have minced garlic that needs to go, so I'm just dumping the remainder of this bottle in. It might have been a half a tablespoon. Break up a pound of freshly ground beef. Season with your favorite seasoning. This happens to be mine. A little bit of pepper. Toss in some mushrooms. Continue to mix everything around until the beef is brown. At this point you'll probably want to put the pot of water on for your macaroni noodles. I throw in a dash of salt and about a teaspoon of uh, olive oil to prevent sticking. finish off a nearly empty jar I put in about a quarter cup or more of water to clean that jar out. At this point I was thinking I overdid it with the water as I dumped in this second jar of tomato sauce. Full jar, the other one only had a tiny bit left in it. But it actually worked out. I was thinking I was probably going to have to drain some water off at the end, but I did not, as you will see. My water is boiling, so I'm going to throw in just over two cups of uh, macaroni noodles. I will stir that frequently and for approximately eight minutes until the noodles are tender. Drain off the water. Hey, if you'd like to encourage me, a thumbs up would be great, and a sub to the, my channel would be even better, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. Whatever you do, I appreciate it. I put approximately a tablespoon of olive oil in the casserole dish, and I used a piece of paper towel to spread it all around prevent sticking. Getting all that work done, not too bad, no spillage at all. The stove took some splatter, but that was well while I was cooking. So, okay, I'm using up my Roman tomatoes. My summer sausage. And that was the last of my mozzarella cheese. So in the oven it goes about 175 degrees for maybe 30 minutes but I'll keep an eye on it so there there it is out of the oven after about 25 minutes my wife called me and I told her I'd call her back in a couple minutes but I just wanted to show you what it looked like out of the oven steaming hot smoking hot 
tomato, summer sausage. This is going to be hot, but I want to see if those flavors are coming through. The spices I put in there. tasty. That is really good. This goes to show you. You can pretty much do anything you want if you're willing to experiment with what you have in the fridge or the cupboard. The tomato. This is pretty darn good. You hear those birds chirping in the background? That's my wife on the cell phone on our line app. She went to make sticky rice, but she's in Thailand, so there's birds chirping in the background. She just woke up. I told her I just wanted to finish off this video. She'll watch it later, so I'm gonna say hi, Nut. I love you and miss you, sweetie. Talk to you later. No, what do you mean talk to you later? You're on the phone now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut this off. Thanks again for watching. And uh, happy cooking. Bye for now. Swati Don Chow.